Thank you for staying with us. It's time for us to move on now on uh, the show. And uh, we're here now to spend some time to reflect on uh, um, domestic football. Yes, let's talk about domestic football. But, uh, Dumnodi, um, while you were um, away, I'm sure you followed it because we've been discussing about this for a long, long time, today as well. Uh, and we've been reading about it, Bolaon Salami, and his move to Red Star uh, Belgrade. No, I mean, let, let, let's start with the positives. Very good news because in the past, if you are a player on the domestic scene, you need to go for a series of trials before you are considered good enough. But nowadays, we are beginning to see our players move directly into European clubs. For me, it's a massive, massive improvement in the ratings of Nigerian players. And I think we should also give kudos to those who are making it happen, those who have thrown the opportunity to own base players to be a part of the national team setup. It's now a lot easier for these guys to get clubs directly in Europe without going through trials. Well, Tony, I think um, you made it uh, very clear. Um, national team assignment yeah, is a platform for players to express themselves. Some of these, play, some of these clubs um, look at, uh, not sometimes they don't look at what you do at your club. They look for the fact that you can make your national team mm. shows that you're a top quality player. And so that's a really big stick up. Uh, what they do is that um, they've created another, another, another route for you to get into the club. Rather than going through the usual route, um, this is Molan Salami as it's unveiling at West Ham mm. And because you could very much. I, I don't think I don't think I deny this one. Isn't this not comforting, Dumnodi, to see a yes. Nigerian league player move yes. up? Yes. Yeah, you could say Serbian football has dropped a little bit, no, but but this is a club in the a former past European that, champion. Yes, this is a club in the past that most Nigerians want to play, but um, because of the um, the plunge in, in um, um, the profile of um, Serbian football. But Vesta Begate is still a club. But like you mentioned, the beauty of it is that it went directly. It didn't go through series of trials. Mm. But, but we must say categorically that these clubs are... Look, let, let me just say, our national teams. Um, we need to get consistent with how we can get these players to play for the national team. We need to be very consistent in how we can drag them to play for the national you team. You mean after they have signed their contracts? No, I'm, no I'm, I'm, I, because that's, that's my big, that's my big issue now. Mm. That's my big issue. Uh, with some let's, of let's listen to Bola and Salami. The next question you ask me. And for now, I hide a little bit. I like the way they are playing. They play the football like they are playing like Barcelona and not the bar. And I think they, uh, they play the 4-4-3, four, four, three, three attacker. And I think I'm so happy for that. They have a young player in the team. And I'm so happy to, to join the team with the player. I'm happy to have them like a friend. I need to work hard. I need, I need to make people happy, make journalists happy too, to know what you sign me for. Not come here to come and play ball because of money. I need to come and prove myself I can do it. Okay. Yeah, it is a nice question. I think I love about Terry. I love him the way he's playing football. I don't think I like the character. I like people who know how to play football so much. That's why I like to play my ball in the pitch. I need to work for myself. I need to work for my team. And I think I need to work for my club and, and the supporters and the fans. I like to play the football the way I'm fighting on, on the pitch to make people know this is my club. I can, I can work for my team. That's why I'm not, maybe I think I'm fighting for the way I'm behaving. Like what Balu tell you, I, I don't think so. I like the football. I don't like the character. <laughs> Interesting. Even in Serbia, they were asking him about Balotelli. And he goes, I mean, you guys have, well, I mean, his response, he likes Balotelli, but not the character. The, the football, he wants to fight. Uh, and and, and I'm, I'm happy because I hope this opens our eyes to see that we have to do a lot for our players back here. Because when they get out there, they are in the eye of the storm. It just shows you just how small the world is. Mm. Here in Nigeria, we, we call him we Nigerian Balotelli. Yes. He moves abroad. The first thing they're asking him is, "Why are you called Balotelli?" Why? Why? Just shows you that you know a good reputation is very, very important. Very, very key. And with the advent of social media and increased communication networks mm. all over the world, anything you think you do in the corner, maybe in Tajikistan, can be seen in the living rooms of other people in in in, in the West. So it's very important the way our players act. We have to learn. That you understand that apart from being athletes, they are also role models to the society, to impressionable young kids. They also have to have a certain veneer, uh, a certain veneer of polish, the way mm. they speak, the way they act. They are, I mean, they are models. So it is very important that the way they comport themselves um, is proper and above board at all times. It, it, it helps them as well. And it also brings to the, the, the issue of 
the third party ownership the mm, mm. That, that, I, I, that we've I'm, talked about so much. I, I, I'm going to come to that. I'm going to come to that. Do not the, you know the, the, there are a lot of things for us to learn from uh, Bolaon's move. Um, another thing they talked about. I mean, in the short time that I got there, he was talking about how he loves the way they play. They must have schooled him. Look, this is how we play. This is the style of football that we play. Our uh, pattern is 4 3 3. We play with three strikers and, and all of that. That's pretty impressive. And I hope we can also transfer this. I mean, we are looking at what we can learn from all of these things and bring them down to our game. When players are unveiled in the different clubs, I, I don't know whether they know so much about where they're going that they're able to even talk and develop the love for where they're going. I told you, um, it's not just the players, if it's even our clubs, mm. some of them don't know their opponent. If they ask them, who are you playing? You see, we don't know them. Even ask them, what, what are you playing in your club? They don't know. <laughs> what so, are you even playing in your club? They don't know, but um, it's just there's like, a lot, there's a lot like, for uh, us to learn. Um, what coaches would do, I'll join my lineup, call you, call your names, and you know what you guys should do, just go play the game, and then... Uh, mm. Go and fight for yourself. Fight for yourself. And then go with your father's you. name. Go with your father's name. <laughs> so I think um, we just need to get um, our, coaching, mm. our coaching system right. Um, but we see some quality. The club, club structure. The club, the coach of Oyo is, is a high profile coach. Yeah. So mm. I think probably the most uh, high profile uh, coach. Yeah, yeah but, but it's, it's, it's so about the structure of our clubs. It's, it's, really, it's, because it's a, it's a big, it's a big the, the coach of a team will say, look, I like this player. But then there's a department that goes around scouting for players and look for the players that suit the so kind of football you want to play. Some of the clubs, some of the clubs um, do real scouting in our clubs. In Nigeria, can't you plus you can't take it. Away from I mentioned another one, you maybe in Yiba. You can't take it from You can't take it from Sunshine. You can't take it from Sunshine. Maybe Sunshine. Yeah, okay. Rangers. They don't go. They don't have the money. But you see big players go to Rangers. You see players. Rangers will always produce mm. some of the best. Okay. Players. Look at so, the Chikatara, I, the the Kalalo from Abia. Who was scouted? Mm. I'm sure they must have looked at him a few times. Probably will. So Kalalo was scouted from the Principal Cup. Yeah, in Rivers. In Rivers. Anyway, let's go to the issue of the third party that you talked about. There's an interesting investigation that we did. Um, and we want to put it out for you to see uh, around Bola and Salama because we try to look uh, and do our own findings and find out exactly what do we know about Bola and Salami and third party ownership. Um, we, we, we don't know too much, but then what we know is what we have put out there for you. Uh, we did our own independent investigations and we discovered that Sunshine Stars of Akure paid 2 million naira to the now defunct Julius Berger FC of Lagos for the outright clearance of Bolan Fouad Salami. That was the name it was. Fouad, yes. Fouad. That, that, was, that, was, that was the name he used his play at that, the in, 2020 World Cup. Yeah, in 2008. Yes, 2009. But, but, <coughs> yeah, I'm talking about this transfer was 2 million. Yes. Yeah, so he became a player of Sunshine Stars in 2008. Not the, on loan. Not on loan. The economic rights resided with Sunshine Stars in 2008. But between 2008 and now, a lot has happened. The contract could have expired, um, and then he could have become a free agent and all of that. And so we cannot really say what happened after all of this today. 